So there's this uh, this patriot uh, that went on TikTok and did this pretty interesting video, and it's showcasing this shopping cart theory, uh, which is kind of new to me, but it's used to own the liberals. Check this out. Tell me you're a Republican without telling me you're a Republican. Okay, so those that are listening to this on audio, you have this woman that is, uh, you heard the audio at least in there, where it's saying, show that you're a Republican without telling them that you're a Republican, basically. So how do you do that? And she's pushing this ca shopping cart through the parking lot and simply pushes it into one of the shopping cart holding areas that's in the parking lot that's designated specifically for the shopping carts. Now, a lot of people might be confused about that. Why would that mean that you're automatically a Republican. But really, it comes down to something quite simple. It's this simple idea that conservatives typically do things that they know that are right to do. The things that are the right thing to do. When you're raised by your parents, you're taught about good things, bad things. You're, you're basically, if you're raised right, you know what I'm talking about. There's just things that you do that are just the right thing to do because what you oftentimes do is you consider other people in your life. You consider other things that are going on around you and you yourself as a conservative know oftentimes when you encounter certain things in life, when things are inconvenient, because when I put a shopping cart, which of course I do, when I put a shopping cart in one of the holding areas at a Publix or something, the reason why I do it is because I know how annoying it is to pull up into a parking space and there's a cart in the way, or to try and get a shopping cart and put it somewhere else. You're doing what you know is right, regardless of what's happening. Even whether you put it in the holster or you hand it directly back to the to to one of the uh, people that it's actually handling the carts and bringing them in from the parking lot. But it's always the worst when people just kind of just basically throw them and just let them go. But the point is, is really talking about is a person capable of self-governing, of making just good decisions and right decisions just because it's the right thing to do. And the thing about a shopping cart is that returning a shopping cart is easy. It's a fairly convenient task. One we would all recognize, I think all people with common sense would realize is just a correct, nice thing to do. It's the appropriate thing to do. I don't see why anybody would deny that. The, the, the actual just part of returning the, returning the shopping cart is objectively a good thing to do, regardless of how you view things in your world. There are no situations other than dire emergencies in which a person is unable to really return the shopping cart. So the question would be, why would you not return the shopping cart? At the same time, though, it's not illegal for you to leave the shopping cart in the middle of the parking lot or in a parking space so no one can get, get access to the parking space or have to move the cart out of the way before they park. There's nothing illegal about that, but you know that it will be annoying to them. You know that that would be annoying to them. Therefore, the shopping cart presents itself in a situation where will a person do the right thing without being forced to do the right thing by law? Okay, let, let me repeat that. Will, the shopping cart represents will a person do the right thing when they're not being forced to do the right thing? That's the key. That's the goal here that we have to look at. Republicans, for example, oftentimes give to charity because it's the right thing to do. On the flip side of that, Democrats are typically the ones that are saying, hey, let's start a government program to, to help those people out. They're, they're these, these less fortunate people. Let's, let's start a government program to do that instead. They're also the ones that are usually trying to get the government to raise taxes in order to help the poor or to help fund some other type of, of welfare program or something like that. But notice how they never seem to be the ones that are volunteering their own money they're never the ones that are directly involved in helping any of those people. They would rather see the government do that job instead. And here's where you have the biggest difference of all. Because as a Christian, what does God see as you doing a good deed? Not that anybody's saved by good works or anything like that, but still, just as a Christian of doing the right thing. Oftentimes, we are called to do the right thing. We, even when we're not forced to do it, you do the right thing because you're considerate of others around you. And this is a perfect scenario where that plays into this. 
if you want to help somebody out that you see in the church that is in need or in your community that is in need, what do you do? Do you go directly to them to help and ask if there's anything you can do to help them out? Or do you go to your, I don't know, maybe the the county and say, hey, there's this family here that could really use some help. Maybe we should start some government program and start charging all these people in the community money to do this, to help that. Wait a minute. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just directly help that person? Why are you trying to start some massive program to do something like that instead of just directly helping that person? Because that's the biggest difference that we see here is that Christians, conservatives are going to do the right thing directly. They're, not, they, they're going to do the right thing themselves. Because think about it in the shopping cart scenario. If the shopping cart is left out in the middle of the parking lot and somebody else doesn't get it themselves when they're trying to get into the store, there's another person that is employed by the store that is going to get that shopping cart. Democrats would be the ones that say, well, you know, that's their job. That's what we're hiring them for, right? I mean, that's we're creating jobs by leaving these shopping carts out in the middle of the parking lot without even having the slightest consideration to put them in an area. Conservatives are saying, hey, we're trying to make their job easier. We're, We're just trying to be nice and make their jobs easier. They put these stations here to make it convenient for us. The least we could do is clearly just put them in the little stations that they go in. Simple as that. But that's not the way the Democrats look at these things. So when they look at these government programs, they're saying, well, that's what the government's for, is to pay all this money, even though that's not what the government's for at all, to pay all this money, to to give to the these poor people and things like that. I'm not going to sacrifice my money. I'm not going to be the one to directly help them. But I'm not going to actually, you know, aid to them specifically. But I'll be the one that votes for all of the higher taxes so that they can get taken care of by the government. That's what they do. Christians, we give up, we're used to giving our money to the church, which is really going to God, giving to missions, giving to many different things, and specifically helping people out that we see as well. And it's not always about money either. Sometimes it's just about doing the right thing, like putting a shopping cart up. This is not a direct uh, cost of your time or anything like that, or, or, or your, your money, but it's just the right thing to do. And that really is why this video is such a kind of owning the liberals kind of moment because it really is showcasing the big dichotomy of saying something as simple as just doing the right thing. It could be any right thing. As simple as putting a shopping cart up, as as simple as just helping out somebody, your neighbor, or what have you. That simple act oftentimes is a more of a conservative difference between conservatives and liberals. That is the big separation between these two worldviews and ideologies that you have to pay attention to when you're looking at how to shape this world and how to view the things that are going on in this world. And there really is a big, big, big difference. And it's something that is just as simple as a shopping cart. You just watched a clip from The William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.